All right. Now, the next thing I want to show you how to save yourself some time, I'm going to minimize this new box. Go into your gear icon. Go into see all settings. To the far right side of the screen, you will see the option for advanced. Now, there are four different advanced options that you can look at here and turn on what you want. But if you don't turn on anything here except one thing, I would encourage you to turn on templates. Now, when most people say an email template, in their mind, they probably picture it's the entire email itself, the body of the email, all paragraphs, signature, and all of that. But templates here can be so much more. You can actually Frankenstein a template in an email. And I'll show you what I mean by that in just a moment. But enable, go down to the bottom, click on Save Changes, and you'll be ready to rock. Now, the other pieces that you can turn on here are auto advance, going on to the next email after you've read it and you've done something with it. Custom keyboard shortcuts, if you're a shortcut user, this is a really cool piece because you can create your own, which is nice. And then underneath that, your unread message icon to look at your little Gmail icon in the upper left of my screen here. You just see a little number attached to that on how many unread messages are in your inbox at that time. But let's go back to our inbox and let's just pop up our new message and show you how to work with these different templates. Now, probably the best piece of advice that I could give you for when you want to create a template is to delete anything that is in that message box right away. Start from scratch. Now, your templates, they can be one-liners. They could be paragraphs. It could be the entire email. It could be just a body of text. It could be a link to a Google Doc sheet slide, Google file, in other words, that maybe you've got stored in your Google Drive. Could include links to websites, like maybe your personal YouTube channel or whatever it may be. You can include all of those as separate templates, and you can put multiple templates in a single email, thus my term of Frankensteining an email. So let's say, for example, I have several templates created here. To access those, you can click on the three dots, go to templates, and you'll see all the different ones that I've got created. So let's show you how they work and then I'll show you how to create some. I got a business training inquiry and I wanna answer it. Click, and there's my business training inquiry. Couple of enters, next. You know what? I think it would be really important for them to have my YouTube link. Bing, there's my link that I want to that YouTube channel. And then maybe I want to have a specific signature, which I can do from here. Or what I could do is I can use the signature tool down at the bottom. But either way, you've got control over a number of things here to do different things with those different templates. So this is multiple templates in one nice, neat place, which I personally love to be able to do. Now, you'll also notice as a time saver, if you're a little sneaky at how you create your templates with the title of it, you can actually have it pre-fill out your subject line for you by the name of whatever that is, template-wise. So let's show you how to create these templates. So let's get rid of all this good stuff. And now let's figure out what do we want to do for a template. Well, you can create them from something that you've already done. So in that case, you could go to your sent label to the left, maybe find something there. And let's see here. We'll just grab one of our emails and I'll just minimize this. And let's say we want this to be a template. I could actually grab anything that I want to be a part of the template, whether it's a body of text, whether it's a link to a file, whether it's an image, whatever. Let's just do the text just to start off with from here. So I'll just do hello, we'll do that part, we'll do a copy, we'll go to my new message that I was gonna create, click inside the body, and paste. Now the tricky part, what do we want this to be named as? Let's go to our three dot icon in the bottom right, go to templates, save the draft as a template, go into that menu, and down at the bottom you'll see save as new. If we click on new, Name it.
we'll just label it as that. But like I said, depending on what you put as the name, that can help you out by filling out your email subject line. For this one, I don't really care. We'll click on save. Now I can discard. We're done. We've created the template. So now I got to create a new email and I want to use that template. Come into my box, bottom right corner, templates, and there she is. Click insert and we're good to go. So that's how you can save a ton of time typing, which I personally stink at, using templates in email.